Hey guys, so today I'm going to be shooting with a Cool Coat 3.0 system. We're going to be using this standard nozzle extension, particularly the Star nozzle. And right now I got set to 80 kV with the DPW activated. So we're going to do a Faraday challenge here. So I'm going to coat the inner face first, then we'll work on the outer face, hit the DPW off because it only works for Faraday areas, then coat the rest of the wheel itself. So you see with the star pattern, it's spreading out the spray pattern to where it's getting in all the nooks and crannies. Okay. Let me just, okay, now I got the inner face done. Let me get the outer face here. Now that I got that coated, I'm going to hit the DPW off and coat the rest of the wheel. So now I got the DPW off, I'm just going to coat the barrel here. You can even see with the outer edges here, it's grabbing in all the nooks and crannies. So up that for you. You can see he's getting in the lips, grooves. There we go. Let's see what we got going on here. So far so good. I'll we'll have to hit the inner ridge there again. It looks like in all the fins here, it got in there just fine. All right, so we pulled the wheel out of the oven and we're looking at the deep cavities. You can see the cool coat did great. It had excellent coverage on the inside there. And uh, yeah, that's just utilizing the DPW feature at 80 kV. We didn't reduce our charge at all, nor did we use the wide mouth. But we did use that nozzle extension, which worked great on the coverage too. So other than that, looks great, and uh, catch you guys later.